everybody welcome back to my channel as you guys have all seen by the title of today's video I will be tackling my very messy wardrobe which I am very embarrassed about may I just say because I literally just throw everything in my wardrobe and forget about it and don't actually put it away properly it's actually really embarrassing and it's a very bad habit of mine and I did actually watch the summer teal do this video last week and I I watched it obviously because I love her channel and it actually gave me a lot of motivation to basically clean my wardrobe up and organise it because it is a tip, it's actually embarrassing, I can't believe I've left it to get to this mess. But bearing in mind I did a wardrobe kind of organisation video a few weeks ago but I've clearly just let it build up again but this time I promise you guys I will be trying to keep it as tidy as possible. But the thing is, right, I'll buy a lot of clothes and then I don't have any space to put the new clothes. So what do, you, this is what do you expect me to do? Like just chuck it on the on the bottom of my wardrobe and just keep it nice, nicely folded there? I don't have a clue. Also, you may be able to hear a lot of cars outside and stuff. I need to leave my windows open for today's video because it is like 26 degrees. It's so hot. I'm actually sweating. I actually get a new fan in my room but because it is beside my camera I don't I really want it on and making a lot of noise because you won't be able to hear me so bear with the noise outside I usually film with my windows closed but I literally can't today I'm actually sweating I'm also wearing a look quick outfit for the day my top is from Zara it's a cute little bardo top a short I have from the Zara kids section a little white pair because they're actually cheaper and they're really comfortable, so I highly recommend having a look. I highly recommend having a look in the kids if you are like a size six or eight, because they do have some really nice clothes in there. Outfits from Zara, I love it so much. Also, before I'm getting this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes, and also leave a comment if you are enjoying the video so far, and also subscribe. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. <laughs> I am a bit sunburnt. Um, the reason why I'm sitting in the house and filming a video is because I did get a bit too much sun. I burnt my scalp a lot. I think the heat did go to my head a little bit yesterday and I was in a bit of a mood for my mum. But yeah, it's yeah. So that's why I'm staying indoors and avoiding the sun today. Because I don't want to burn anymore. I burn on my back and my neck, I think, as well. So. It's really not a good time for my skin right now. I'm praying for more aloe vera so I will have to put some on. But anyway, here is my gorgeous wardrobe. It is the IKEA one. All my furniture in my room, apart from my ottoman and my chair. It's from IKEA because it's white, it's just it looks nice in my room. I've always had IKEA furniture ever since I was little. And it never really ages or anything. So yeah, and also it's white. It matches with my pink and white and green room and it's a good size the wardrobe for all my clothes because trust me I do have a lot of clothes. So this part of my wardrobe is where I have the clothing rail and it has a shelf underneath but to be honest I don't use the shelf underneath. I, I think I actually do I think the only thing I have in there is my prom dress from three years ago would have been. Oh my god three years ago. Does anybody want to see my front dress? It's this red one from Quiz. I can't believe I actually fit into this because it is really small and really long but I suppose I did have heels on. But that's my prom dress. I will be keeping this because I'm not going to chuck it out because it's my prom dress. I might sell it to someone but I mean, you know, it will be nice to keep for the memory. So that's my little prom dress um, and I will be wearing that anytime soon obviously. Or probably ever again but you know it's it's good to keep it in there you know that is where i put like all my jumpers the t-shirts bodysuits crop tops whatever in there i'll keep in here so it's all a bit it muddles up because i can't just like they put the random things in places i've also i do also have a pile of clothes at the bottom of the wardrobe which I'm going to show you right now. There, can you see that? 
You've not need to see that, guys. That's really embarrassing. But yeah, so I don't know what to do first. I think I'm just going to kind of chuck all these clothes on the floor and then kind of organise them. Some of these clothes I have kind of half worn as well, so I might just put them in the wash. It's like nice and clean. But look at this little boy suit. It's like a green. Um, what's the colour? It's like a wine kind of green colour. How about just that from Quiz? Cute. Um, and then I've got this Christmas throw, which I actually despise, but let's keep it in there in case we need a random throw sometime. You never know when you might need one. The denim shorts. That's like a load of random crap in here that like I want to keep because I like them, but then I don't also wear them, so what's the point? But in TK Maxx, I did actually buy yeah, some juicy kitchen shorts. I actually wear these kind of like lounging in the house and sleeping in, but they were £11 from TK Maxx. A lovely green colour in a size extra small. They do have a lot of juicy kitchen in case you want to get some. I used to actually hate the juicy kitchen, but ever since it's come back into fashion, I really like it now. Um, these cute little DK and my sports bra, also from TK Maxx. It's actually tiny, but I do have a small body, so. Has this been worn? I honestly can't tell. Honestly, I actually can't tell. There's some little there's some little teddy bears from when I was a baby. Yeah, this it says Forever Friends of like collection. This would probably be the same age as me. Cute, it's my little baby. Anyway, I am gonna organise a few of these clothes. So I, I don't know where to start first. I'm actually sweating as well. Like I might have to put my I might have to put my fan on soon. So I've just got a little print frock because yeah, I've got a lot of shorts which I've just kind of chucked on the deck which I really shouldn't do but these are really cute, they look Primark one. I've got a gift bag from Scott which is a bit crushed but it saves to my aisle. I might keep that, I don't really know, it's a bit crushed right now. A neck pillow, oh my god it's actually really comfortable, Ooh, nice, oh my god the colour is so nice. What else have I got? Oh, this is from Golf. This this is the little visor from Get All Golf in Liverpool. It's really cool. It actually says sicker than your average. That's why I am. I'm sicker than your average girl. <laughs> Weird. Right. I've just got a load of stuff, which I'm just gonna throw on the floor. Right. I have not been able to find any of my strapless bras for ages and I've just found them because I've been stuffed at the bottom of the wardrobe. This is why you shouldn't you just chuck things at the bottom of your wardrobe because when you want to find something you won't be able to find it and then like a few months after you'll be there. So yeah, a little life tip in case you want to ever organise your wardrobe properly, don't ever get into the habit of chucking stuff like I did because that's a bad habit. I probably won't ever need this again. Yeah, this is the little thingy from our a chair from Danelle. If you have your cocktail chair, I highly recommend. I'll keep it just in case I might need it. I might need it. You, you never know when you might need something. The more teddy bears from when I was a kid, of course I'm going to keep them for the memories because... Is it normal to keep your childhood kind of teddies? Because I'm sure a lot of people do. But let me know if you still have any teddies or toys from when you were a kid because I don't want to be the only person that does but like they have a little special place in my heart you know I want to keep a bit of like my childhood there you know you know the more gift bags the police ask me why I leave gift bags in my wardrobe because I will never know why like it's just something I will never understand more bras no wonder I can't find any bras in in my drawer because they're all in my wardrobe and then I've got this which is from the Harrods when I was born I think someone bought it for me it says Harrods 2001 it's got a little jacket and everything it's my little cool dude look he's my little best pal you know and then what the hell is this oh my god it's a PJ top oh my god this is really cute I totally forgot I had that, but that's really cute. I've had this for ages, but that's really nice. And they actually sell the pink shorts in this as well. 
I might have to go into Primark again. Honestly, I need to be banned from going to Primark because I actually spend so much money. Then, all I've got is a you know, pink or poly box. I want to keep it because it's really cute pink and the Apple box, which is quite important for my laptop, which it's got all the stuff in it, hasn't it? So that's why I'm keeping that. But anyway, I think I'm actually going to clean inside a bit. It's just going to give it a bit of a freshen up with my a disinfectant spray um, and then I'll be back because it does need a bit of a clean because you know I want to give it a freshen up they went on trying to organize it and clean it up I literally thought I was filming and I wasn't so I've kind of organized my work stuff and I did also clean it as well by the way I used the flash cherry blossom spray and it smells so good so definitely recommend to try this because it actually smells unreal um, but yeah I've just been organizing in this part of my wardrobe because it was like the boring bits like my work clothes and stuff how I've gone in a section of my wardrobe is how my work stuff my jumpers the body suits and crop tops and t-shirts beside my work stuff as well um, but it, it's mainly just jumpers at the moment or long sleeve tops so what I'm going to do is just kind of keep all those together until I get to these which are really nice I, I, I love both these tops yeah, this this pink velvet one is from H&M and this other one is from, oh no, a cute little Sarah crop top as well which is from Sarah, it's actually gorgeous, it's a yellow ribbed one and this one is from Topshop but I'm not going to put the two items on the same hanger because they end up falling off and that annoys me a lot. Um, oh yeah, and I, I thought I was filming before but I obviously wasn't. But from Primark the other day I actually bought a couple of body suits, I bought this brand new one it may not be to everybody's taste, but I really like it. And Amber and I actually got it in her most recent Primark haul. And if you know me, I love my Primark hauls and stuff. And this was £5. And then I also got this gorgeous pink slinky one. I actually have a white slinky one from Primark. It is a bit see-through, but oh well, it's fine. But this one is not. In extra small, again, for £6. And this would be gorgeous. It with blue shorts, black shorts jeans and stuff so I'm really excited to keep those obviously I will be keeping these where my body suits are you know I just want to double check I'm filming because I'm scared in case my camera's cutting off so I'm filming this time I'm actually filming well done now so this is where all my jumpers are going I do have a lot of jumpers I do have a lot of jumpers wow since when did I have all these jumpers okay taking them off wow okay I didn't realise I had all this Okay, wow. I was not expecting half of this, but you know, it's fine. It is fine. Right. I've got some t-shirts here, which I'm just going to uh, uh, keep together, because t-shirts are like uh, in between jumpers, aren't they? Or maybe, or maybe I should keep my long sleeve tops together. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right. The long sleeve tops. This Sarah one is going where my jumpers are. Or like long sleeve stuff. Oh my god, these are all annoying me so much. I'm taking these off. You're coming with me. You are coming with me, hens. Right. Another long sleeve top, which is going next. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. Uh, what is your guys' favourite type of videos to watch on YouTube? They're like some more like challenges. Uh, make videos, vlogs. Uh, let me know down below because I also want to film the videos that you guys like watching. You know. Ah, uh, annoying. Uh, uh, uh. Another bodysuit which can't be on with the same thing. Uh, right. This is a little cute jumper as well, which I love. It's from Sarah, but. It's like a cropped one, so like it goes halfway up your back, but it's really cute. I love it so much. And I'll be wearing her in the winter time as well, because she's adorable. Like, but for now, she'll be wearing my jumpers are, because it's way too hot to wear you, my darling. But how cute is she? With £20 from Zara, I love it. I love her. I love her so much. Right, the next one is t shirt So, I do have a couple of t-shirts here. I've got this pink one from New Look. If the puff sleeves of it and then my Dior one from Vova. It's a bit tatty, but it's, I can use it as an old top now. 
And they're going next to each other. Did I take all these off as well? At this rate, with the wind wardrobe is going, I'll have to buy more clothes. I'm, I mean, I'll have to buy another wardrobe because it's actually a lot. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. A lot. Right, I then have this H&M top which I just showed you before. And this is going in where my long sleeve stuff is because it's like a long sleeve top as well. So let's go and beside my Zara ones. So, so far I've kind of organised my wardrobe. It's not the best but I do have a lot of bodysuits and crop tops which I need to tackle now before it gets out of hand. All my wardrobe consists of is a Primark, a Zara and probably a top shop. There are lots of places like a shop at. This little a cute one from the Primark, it's a lovely yellow wee one. It reminds me of the sunshine. Then I've got another one from Primark as well, but this is really nice. It's like a red one. I love it. Um, and this is going on a hanger. Oh my god, what's all these hangers doing? I do need to ask myself why I do have a shopping addiction because it's quite bad. A little bit of retail therapy doesn't do any harm, so you might as well just enjoy your time shopping in the shops while you can. There, there we go. Then next up, it is more tops. For this pinky one, oh my god, why is everything tangled today? For this little one, I don't actually know where this is from, but it's really cute. It's like a little pink, like a little frill one, adorable. I have decided I'm not going to be keeping any of my bigger jumpers in my wardrobe. They're purely because they do take up a lot of space and I'll build some something else. Let's have my favourite part bodysuit time I do have a good few to put away mine so I better get cracking I think I'm going to put all my kind of slinky ones together so I've got this black one but it's got like a stain on it I don't know where that's came from but I'm going to keep it in there just in case I actually love the wearing slinky bodysuits because they're actually really comfortable to wear they don't really itch or anything or get uncomfortable so it's a win-win when you wear them really. I don't know what's going on with this today. But you need to get back on the hanger. There we go. Another Primark one. And this pink one is definitely going in my wardrobe. That's where it belongs in my wardrobe. Some lovely bodysuits. I would love to get more colours in these. I do have like a white, a red, a black, a pink. So maybe a yellow or like a green or like a blue. Purple. Oh. A lilac one would be nice. I don't know if you're going to keep my eyes peeled for a lilac you one. This is my ready one. I've had these ones for ages. These are actually from PLT. They're a little bit better quality compared to Primark, but what do you expect? I mean, you know, it's fine. I'll put this red one on. And then after that, it will be the brand new Primark one, which I'm going to wear. Uh, hopefully, it went a bit cooler actually because I don't want to be wearing a bodysuit in this heat. It'll be a bit too sweaty. And this one's going on. I'm actually excited to wear this. And then, what else do I do? Oh yes, I've got this lovely other one. So this is from New Look. I've actually had this on once and it, it's actually really nice. It's like a lovely minty green colour. It's really pretty. I had my fan on before but I had to turn it off because it would make too much noise. Oh, where's my other blue suits gone? Oh, here's another top which you need to hang off. But it's like a little... Like the tie one, it's really cute, it's from H&M. The H&M is actually really underrated, they do have some really good clothes, I highly recommend. It's really nice. This is going with my crop tops. I've got this lovely little one from New Look as well, which I've had for years. It's, re it's really pretty, look at the back. The legs definitely stay with me this time. I'm not losing this one. I do have a black one this one, but I don't know where the black one is. I actually don't have a clue. Yeah, that is the mystery I will have to find out, honestly. Oh yes, and I have two more actually. I do have a lilac one and like a whitey one, but this is really old. It's like, it's cute, but it's that, like, do you know the winter face has to get a bit old? It looks a bit shabby. Yeah, this is that right now. But I, I'm going to keep it because it, it looks nice with stuff and I might as well be, what's the word? I might as well, oh what's that word called where you don't waste stuff. Oh my god, what's that word called? I'm trying to not 
the use of many resources? No. They let me know what the word is because I can't think of the word right now. It will come to me. It will come to me after the video, but not right now. Oh, what is it? I honestly don't know. I don't have a clue. These are like my school skirts from when I went to school three years ago. The leaving school is horribly they're one of the best days of your life, but the life does go downhill from there, trust me girls, like or boys, if you're watching this video. It does, it actually does. It, it, it's quite sad if you think about it, but I mean, you know, it, would you rather be going to school if like most of the day and just being able to like learn stuff? I thought I had a dent in my chair and I was like, oh my god, I spent 150 quid on that chair for that to get a dent in it. No. Imagine they're going to, no, I was going to say, yeah, would you rather go to school and like, be able, to be, be able to be with all your friends and not have to worry about going to work and making money, or go to work five days a week and then you two days off, it's like raining and stuff. Nice to go back to school for one day, but then I think I would get bored of it, but now, that I'm working five days a week I do kind of miss school a little bit in a way it's kind of weird I don't know if my mum just came up and wanted to give me a nice you bless her but obviously like, I'm filming this video so she put it back in the freezer but thank you mum I don't know, watch my videos I'm trying to find the hang of this but I don't know if I have any more I'm nearly done by the way I'm going to put my skirts in after that but for now I need to just find a hanger and now it's time for the skirts which are they're all pretty home peacefully. I've had these for years, but I love them. Uh, yeah, these are from Topshop. Is Topshop still available on ASOS? Because it would be nice to have a look on ASOS actually, because the Topshop clothing has always been really good quality. Quite expensive, but quality. And these are like my job interview skirts as well. But I'm keeping those together because these are my skirts, which I do wear every now and then. I've also got the denim one as well. And then my school kind of skirts which I probably keep it from work stuff but for now these are going on because I like to wear a skirt here and there you know you know it's it's nice to have them they're being on sometimes right and then now this one this goes right where I need it so for now all the clothes are on all this stuff I'll have to deal with and probably put the back or organise it but for now all the clothes are nice and organised so that's a good start anyway I'm, I'm really happy part of the wardrobe is all finished I'm really happy it's organised all my teddies are down there now I'm actually sure you like what is down there but that's like the current state it's just got like all my teddies are there but the thing is I don't I really want to get rid of them so that's why I'm keeping them there because I'm a big kid at heart really but now it's time to tackle this bit of the wardrobe, which isn't as well. I mean, it might be just as bad, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. I need to move all these jumpers out of the way, but for now, just go on the floor because I'm going to have to hoover up again. So this is where I keep my kind of crop tops, like summer tops, in my kind of Depop stuff. Well, they used to be my Depop stuff, but I've been banned from Depop. I do have a few things for sale. A little Dior headband still for £10. I'm, I'm selling it off because it's a final one I've got on sale. As I told you before, all poly dress for 15 but I might do £10. No, £10 is, is not enough. It's, it's £15 for this if anybody wants it and £10 for that. I've then also got an Adidas top which is going for £10 because I've probably worn it so I might as well yeah, put it on Depop well they're not Depop you know what I mean they're off their own blouse which is going up for 10 a bit designer there another Ralph Lauren one which is going on for 10 yeah, these are in size 6's all of these are in 6's by the way and then a few more hoodie going for 10 as well in a size the 6 always be extra small or small it's a size 8 actually, but basically like a 6 anyway, so if anybody wants them, if they are for sale. Um, but anyway, this is where I keep all my crop tops, I, I throw them on, I'm not going to lie, I do throw them on and just hope for the best. So and that is a very bad habit to get into as well, so I'm going to come down 
So some of them are shorts as well. I have your sports bras in here. I just have a random a bit of chunks. What I'm going to start with is my shorts. I'm just going to put these on the bottom because they're a bit heavier and bigger. I do have a lot of shorts. Yeah, these pink ones are probably like, really cute. I love them. I'm going to zip them up again just because I feel like it's better. But I can see all the dust in the air. It's actually kind of disgusting seeing all the dust in the air, you know. But that's them. Cute. What else do I have? Another pair of denim to go up in there. It is quite hard to keep the drawers kind of organised. Or maybe I could actually have one for shorts and one for crop tops because I'm not going to lie, it does get a bit disorientated kind of thing when my crop tops are on top of my shorts. That's probably something to think about which I might do. I have Puma trains for sale as well. These are my black ones that have been worn. I'm probably going to sell these for a tenner as well, so if you want them, these are in a size 4 as well. I've been worn a few times. I have it for someone who has the very slim feet. I let myself look them in the box and stuff as well, in case you want them. You know, I'm having a bit of a clear out here and there. And then here it's really boring, but it's like my pencil cases. And these are probably from school. It's like almost stationary from school and stuff. Oh yeah, and I'm actually also selling a little summer dress. They're probably for a tenner as well. Or maybe even a... Let's say like a fiver. It's Boohoo one in a size 6 and it straps up on the back. It's quite hard to show but it straps up on the back and it's really cute as well. So that's, that's going for a fiver in case somebody wants it. And then a little Ted Baker iPad case. I feel as if it's just an advertisement for selling stuff, but honestly, it's not. And this Ted Baker case will go. It will be going for a fiver because, yeah, this will be for iPad Mini, I think. So if you want it, it's Ted Baker. It's pretty much in excellent condition. How do you recommend getting that? Yeah, and then in here, I also have another stationery which like pens and stuff. But for now, I'll just organise my shorts first before. I'd make two steps forwards and three steps back kind of thing. I'm sorry guys, but fans just have to be on, so I may have to shout a bit more. I am actually sweating, like I'm, I am so hot. Every time it comes my way, I'm just like, oh, it's so nice. But this is the progress so far. Shorts, crop tops. It's now time to tackle the jeans because they need the tackled. Or talking pants or whatever is in there. So what I'm going to do is move on to the all this rubbish out of the way. I don't know where I'm going to keep my stationery because I don't, have, I don't have a space for them but I will have to find somewhere obviously because, you know. Anyway, the jeans and joggers should be fine so I'm probably just going to keep my, my jeans at the bottom and joggers at the top. I do have quite a few pairs of jeans, <laughs> I'm not going to lie because, you know, like the jeans are just essential in your wardrobe. They're off me anyway. I don't know about I don't know about anybody else, but they're also big a big part of my life. I do need some more kind of lounge sets though because I want to just have like have some more people clothes wearing the house however. So my mum the other day actually bought me some joggers from New York, these blue ones, in the petite section size six and these are actually like they're really short. Yeah, these are actually really short and these perfect because I am the short and petite so I'm sure that these are in the six so I've got rid of them. They didn't come up for me but I really like them and I will be wearing them when it, when it is a bit cooler but for now they're staying in my wardrobe until I get a chance to wear them. I then have my gingham collard which it should go in, in there but I don't know if I want to put it in there. I might actually just keep it like in there and in there kind of thing but I'll, I'll sort that out later because I've got this to do first. I've got some old leggings. I only I actually want these for the helping Scott decorate his, his new business room. He will be going to soon. A hint hint in case you're keeping up with his 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 cake business journey. I do have these ones as well which are joggers which are going to go on top of everything else. So everybody here is the finished wardrobe. Honestly I'm so happy that the wardrobe is now finished because it was getting worse by the week I'm not even joking but now that it's all organised and finished it makes me feel a lot happier 
then my goal for the rest of the year is to try and make it as as neat and tidy as I can but obviously nobody's perfect so we will find out if we will find out then what happens but I am going to end this video here because I've finished my wardrobe now and I do have a massive pile of stuff to find a place for I'm thinking of putting all my jumpers under my bed because I don't have anywhere else to put them and I've got all these stationery and I've realised I had I don't have any space for them but I will find somewhere because you always find a place for something like them but anyway if you have enjoyed this video then please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below also subscribe and, and also let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see and i'll see you all in my next video bye everybody